What exactly are stomach ulcers? Stomach ulcers is actually inflammation in the stomach that over time can actually cause a lot of issues to occur. Actually, we can see this ba basically with an endoscopy. So symptoms alone cannot allow us to determine if you have an ulcer, nor can any other imaging tests that we do. The only way for us to know if you have an ulcer is actually physically take a look and see exactly what's going on. And in there, we can see what's called basically a cratering of your mucosa. Part of your stomach or your small intestine will be cratered and have a kind of a little spot in there that we can typically see with an ulcer. Now, very commonly, a lot of people tell me they think they have symptoms of an ulcer. And sometimes those symptoms may or may not be an ulcer. And the only way for us to really know this is for us to actually physically take a look and see what's going on and sometimes taking some biopsies as well. But some of the more common symptoms, symptoms of an ulcer include things like pain, nausea and vomiting, not feeling very good, you're getting very, very poor appetite. And over time, that can get worse as well. And typically the pain will be right up here, right above where your belly button is, kind of around where your chest is at. That is where your stomach is. And you can develop these ulcers inside both the stomach and in the small intestine. And sometimes this pain can get worse after eating. For some individuals, this pain can actually get better after eating as well. But the most common symptom is pain, nausea, vomiting, having a poor appetite. Now, in some individuals, if this ulcer does become big or severe, there is a chance of this ulcer causing bleeding as well. So sometimes you'll see black tarry stools as a very concerning warning sign that you have a bleeding ulcer that's there. Sometimes your blood count can be low as well. You can be what's called anemic. We actually are losing blood from that ulcer that's there. And for some individuals, you actually may see frank blood as well. And that is something that can be a concern for a lot of our individuals, individuals as well.